Hi guys, it's John. Um, I just got a ticket, and I, I suppose it was my fault. I passed a school bus, not going around it, but I was in the oncoming lane. It's a very wide road, at a red light, the light turned green. Didn't realize the school bus was stopped for more than the red light, and I went. So, you can see how that's easy to do. That ticket's going to cost me $400, and on top of that, I have to do a full driving responsibility assessment, which costs an additional $525. <sighs> I hate this state. So, I gotta clear my head a little bit. So let's go fishing. All right, well, I found this little path in passing and uh, it's just downstream from Murphy's Island. Uh, the kids and I were gonna check it out and we never got a chance to, so I'm coming down here now, which is what I usually do to make sure it's, you know, a safe place for them to fish. This is uh, obviously from the flooding, a lot of garbage has washed up. But I tell you right now, this is not a place. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is not something. I'm not coming here night fishing, I'll tell you that. This is going to be like in a horror movie where I put the camera on myself and walking through the woods and that shape in the background. That guy, yeah, he comes after me. Alright, now I'm, I'm freaking myself out. <laughs> Just keep walking. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Nice. All to myself. Well, I apologize for the wind. It's gonna make the audio a little crappy, but this looks like a sweet spot. There's Murphy's Island right up there. And from what I've heard, a lot of musky come through this bend hole up here for a little while. So, give it a shot. One thing I like to do when I come out here is get one rod set up with a worm or a crayfish or a small you know, bluegill or whatever. See so if I can get a catfish. And uh, that's what I got going on right here. I, I, uh, I make sure that the drag is set real loose. I can hear it. And I just let that sit out there. But today, I still got my worm at every cast. I leave it out there for a good 20 minutes, maybe more. I'm used to it being gone when I check, but slow, slow day. Hooked onto something tiny here. Let's see what it is. Oh no, he's good. He's he's well hooked, just like he should be. I hate these trouble hooks in here. I'm gonna have to get uh, pliers. He's a little cutie though. You see him? <laughs> Let's let him go. Nice and safe here. Oh, there he goes. Well, I don't know if you could see it or not, but that was a little half ounce Thomas spinner that I caught him on, red and black polka dots. And that is my desperation bait because I've caught everything on it. So when all else fails, I throw the Thomas lure. I've tried uh, a couple different Rapalas and even threw a spoon for a little bit. Not really having much luck today. Oh well. Fishing is fishing. Well, I didn't realize it, but this is where I was parking. And this is why I get tickets. 
lucked out this time. All right, well, I'm home. Not the greatest of fishing trips, but, you know, it's good to get out. It's good to clear your head from this kind of stuff or anything else, really. Um, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which was really just, you know, scoping out a new spot for me and the kids to go and making sure it was safe and they would be able to catch little fish and uh, maybe also big fish. We'll see. This was my first attempt at doing a video by myself. Also not the greatest. Didn't really show you a whole lot. My camera is garbage. And I need to get a new one. But I need to pay the state a lot of money. So my battery died halfway through. And uh, hopefully these videos get better as we go along. Uh, more of the kids, less of me. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.